Look at that! I've never been this close to Temestima, like juveniles like that. They really are slender. Whoa! Hello! Oh, oh, God. The action just happens all over the place. Yeah, that is an awesome looking animal. I don't know, guys. It never gets old. I just love watching crocodiles eat. Oh, we even have some chicken uh, on our lens. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, we got a jumperoo show here with now crocodiles. I got to get five acres, bud. I need some crocodiles in my life. Oh, look at this. Look at this right here. Boom! Are you kidding me? These guys are absolutely athletes. What's going on, everybody? We're inside the hot house here at Crocodile Encounters, and today we're going to have some fun. We're going to be meeting the... Well, I believe these are, wait, these are Tremistima. that's right. Yeah, so this scary. is the slender snouted, oh, the false, false carrier, that's right. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why these guys are here. But we're gonna be feeding them today, and as you can see, they're pretty excited right away. What's this guy's name? Destroyer. Destroyer, awesome. Big male. All right, let's see, we're gonna open it up. Yeah, she's gonna come too. Look at this, look at these guys. Oh, she's right there, okay, good to know. Oh, look at that. And these guys in the wild are going to be, are definitely going to be fish eaters. But look at them just get that. I mean, that is a really cool, I've never been this close to Temestima, like juveniles like that. They really are slender. <laughs> like, yeah, they're actually really... thinking as they get older. Yeah. And they do eat a lot of it as they get older. They will eat more mammals. Oh, they will. Okay. Yeah, because they, they've drawn a few broad mammals. Okay. But as as young, they're gonna primarily it's be still a narrow snouted crocodile. Okay. But they do thicken at the base. It's it's actually the largest skull of any crocodilian. Is it really? Yeah, it's a really big skull. Check it out. I believe that was Motley Crue um, <laughs> that you have on your phone, which is awesome. Awesome soundtrack for this. Whoa! Hello. <laughs> So sick. Whoop, look out, Cannon. Look out, Cannon. Don't get bit. And they're, they're, they're so fast in the water, man. Holy smokes. Are we going to the next one? Yeah, we're going to All right, let's shut this up here. Puppy. Yeah, this is puppy. Now, who's this? Uh, puppy and Pup kitten. Puppy and kitten? Yep. Am I ready? Yep. You're good. Okay. They're pretty, I like also the markings on this now. They're beautiful. Oh, 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 so, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, Wyatt's going to have to help him out here. Like since I started. Oh, man. Hey, listen, that's, that's, the, that's actually the best case scenario. That's the best case scenario. It wasn't his hand. But did you see he went to go reach and he thought better of it? Off yeah, they pull exactly. Yeah. I've I've lost them to my twelve foot alligator, but not my <laughs> not my little. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing around, dude. I'm messing around. You guys are awesome here. I love. I, I'm definitely in good company. Everybody here is super friendly at the at the uh, zoo, and um, man, really knowledgeable staff. So, you guys definitely want to come check it out. I gotta keep the action just happens all over the place. Yeah, here. we're hopping all over. Yeah, you guys aren't even letting me know. I love it. So when will these guys go outside? Uh, they're probably three years out. Okay. Yeah, we'll like uh, we'll move them to another building. They'll stay in here for probably another year or so. Then we'll move them across to the other building, and they'll probably stay in there for a year. Okay. They really are pretty. I they're mean, growing so fast that we just moved them over from the hatching building not too long ago, and. Um, they just, they're eating so well and they're just growing so good. Their pupils are really interesting. Yeah, what, what is it about them that, that you find interesting or say? is interesting? Maybe? They're, um, whenever we were cleaning them, like cleaning out uh, crock poop and stuff, brooming it out, I noticed they have like, uh, almost like trapezoid pupils. Instead of round or uh, vertical or horizontal, they're angled. It's really weird. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can have a look at that. Draw them up here. Let's see if we can get a nice shot of these pupils. Come here. Huh. That is an awesome looking animal. Pupils are not. <laughs> oh, I love that when they're like, they want to just Stole it. rip it. And you need that piece? Another one's still got a piece. Look at guys, you can see, just look at how narrow that is. Incredible. 
They've destroyed it. Yeah, the Assyrians are on fire right now. It's the reason that they just. Yeah. Real aggressive feeders, that's awesome. Gotcha now. Yeah, I'll see if I can pull that picture up for you. Bro, I got a real close up right there. Oh, cool. So what we've done is uh, these are paired. Okay. So like these are these are all male female together, so we raise them together so that here when we do put them outside, that should really give us a really great chance of having uh, reproduction with them. Because they're already yeah, like each it, other. It's kind of a funny story too how how it came to be. So we had the the group of males um, from the facility we got them from, and then let's go do salt. Let's go do salties. Salties. Yeah. Salties. Then, awesome. Um, there was an, a second set of them, which was sent down to a facility in South Texas, and they're friends of ours. Okay. And so I just happened to see it on Facebook. They had these, and they had females of a totally unrelated line. And so I told them, I said, that, hey, would you guys consider uh, sending those females that are unrelated to our three males? And, and they said, and they're just great people. And so they said, yeah, you know, we'll... We'll do that, and we sent them some Chinese alligators to kind of, you know, cool. so they yeah. can use them on display. And uh, so now we're raising three unrelated pairs totally. So it's That's really, awesome. Yeah, it's really a great a great thing. We have two more coming, uh, two more young animals coming. Look at this enclosure, guys. Saltwater crocodiles. There's one of them right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, Let's yeah. Go down there. That's where I fed them on land. Where are we going? Right oh, and you got, oh yeah, yeah. look at that. See, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting, man. That is very yeah, angular at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, look at it. This is so cool, guys. I haven't been around Porosis in a while uh, to oh, see. sitting there waiting. Yeah, to yeah, see some great. nice salties out in the sun. And they're about to be fed. Let's well, go check it out. Look at water. that. You're right. <laughs> this is early. And another video we did a tour. The Orinocos were earlier. They were here, but he has this wind block. The north wind gets blocked out. Um, what would you... What do you... Yeah, he, we'll have one keeper in, and then let's see how he does. So this is Wyatt. All right, Wyatt. This is Darwin here, right? I hey, I got a, a Darwin at my house, but it's a Galapagos tortoise. Whoa! Oh, turns back around. The other one went down. Wyatt, what did you say? <laughs> Holy smokes, that was fast. Now you got to be real careful. <laughs> now, are they like a gator where the gator will go in the water but doesn't go far? Yeah, that's usually how it works. Okay. I'm going to step up here if you don't mind. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a, back up. that was really fast. That yeah, that they're deep. incredibly fast. Yeah. And as soon as they go down in there, they're gone. What's they're gone. What's huh? funny is you look at that crocodile though. That crocodile is ten feet long. I know. Because the enclosure just like, it we, makes them look them smaller. Size, and we put them in the indoor enclosures. They just look gigantic. Yeah. Now. It's a beautiful enclosure, man. I love uh, the chocolate milk water, too. I, I think that that's so awesome for the crocs. You know, the, the stress levels go down when they feel totally hidden like this. All the natural plantings, basking areas, shaded areas, a whole land area here that those crocs will use, man. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. You saw he was up. That's where he was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I scared him. Pooped him off. Oh, man. Look at all this chicken. What are we going to do with this chicken? We got more crocs. Oh, well, that's perfect. We got more film. We got more memory card. Let's go, man. Let's keep it rolling. All right. I, I, I this is the best way to see everything. Is uh, I feel like I'm getting the VIP tour, which I guess I am here. Uh, yeah. Don't so. feed them today, though, because it's going to be cool tonight. Right, so the Orinoco's no, the no. no go on the Orinoco. But I'm sure, like you said, you got a few Niles here. Maybe yeah, they're the hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. So will you do this for some of the guests to the park? Every, every tour that comes through. Wow. Yeah. So the animals, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Look at this. This is actually a really good feeding spot here. We feed here a lot. Do you really? Yeah, a lot of the nows get fed here. There's that beautiful golden <laughs> crop. Yeah, it's going to come over. He's always sitting up here. Now, you know what's funny is crocodile that size. 
will mess Obviously you up. <laughs> like I would, I would rather jump on a 13 foot gator than one of those at some times. She's been out there for a while. She's gotta be warm. I'll watch my hand, don't worry. Uh-huh. She was just lazy. <laughs> She's like, yeah, dude, just throw it, will you? Oh, there goes a nice crunch. Yeah, this, I don't know, guys, it never gets old. I just love watching reptiles, especially crocodiles eat. Oh, we even have some chicken uh, on our lens. <laughs> cool. You guys taste it? That is great. Oh, look at her. Ah, she was well behaved. Yeah, this, all these are born here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. How old is she, do you reckon, then? She's probably four or five. Gotcha. Yeah, that's amazing. They they grow quickly when they're outside. We, yeah, we just moved her out. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, inside the building, with the mist, where you saw there's a group of young gnaws. Yep. We take them from there, we put them here. Okay. Then when they become a little bit larger, they're going to come over. They come over here. Give her one more. We got a lot. Oh, we got a bunch. Yeah, they feed her up. Yeah, That's awesome. Bang. Yeah, she's been sunning for a while now. Yeah, when they're a little bit cheap, I like to get them uh, a little bit. Uh, when she's up here, she be forced up. The, yeah. Yeah, she's six feet off normal things to get her big as fuck. Oh, you can get the rest of that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Give it all to her. You need a name for it. For the next one? She's only sitting up here. Yeah, she likes the spot. Skyler, reaching for the sky. That's a good, that's a good name. <laughs> there you go. Right. Very cool. Is a color on it? Yeah, beautiful on the flanks. That would be your high yellow. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah it's a good looking that, animal. What happens is on that, when you see that gene, as they get older, it becomes more and more pronounced. So we've had a couple of them just look crazy, crazy yellow. Really? Not like that. That's yeah, that's, that's a whole other... That's a whole different... Yeah, thing. that's they, incredible. They kind of really bright yellow. This is one that's going to... If she gets older, she'll get more and more yellow. Yeah, she's pretty too, though. Yeah. Awesome. All right, now we're going to Madagascar. Yeah. Do you, do you notice how excited these three guys are just walking around talking about the place? That's what I love to see, man. He's been doing it for years, and they're still stuck. <laughs> oh, look at that red ear. Look at that red ear slider. Almost half the size of that thing's stomach. It was a massive red ear slider. Yes, right over here yesterday, and I pointed it out on tour. I was like, look at this. So many crocs, man. You start to see some of the Madagascar. Yep, the Madagascar crocodiles. This is their river. They dug this pond more like a river. Look, everyone's up now. Oh, look at the color that you now. You can Come really on. See that is insane, man. No, it's not good. <laughs> that is so cool. Now, you know, am I wrong? There was, um, I think in Mandalay Bay, they had um, a golden crocodile. I don't know what species that was it was. A, that was uh, just a high yellow Nile crocodile. Okay, there yeah. was a Nile. Yeah, they had it in a really cool exhibit. It yeah. was like a temple type situation. Look at this. So these are the juvies. Yeah, yeah. These are the little ones. He's coming over. Are you going with this one? Yeah, we'll put, we'll just, we call this area the fishing for frog area too. We actually let people have these bamboo poles. Oh, really? Yeah, and we, uh, there's a bunch coming. Oh, are there a bunch coming over? Oh, yeah, look at this. The secret about time. crocodiles, and, and you know this, or any reptile, is the smaller they are, the quicker they heat up. Come here. Okay. And so, it works like a double-edged sword in a lot of ways, like it, they also cool down quicker, but... Oh, we got a jumperoo show here with Nile crocodiles. Yeah. That is awesome, guys. I gotta get five acres, bud. <laughs> I need some crocodiles in my life. Whoa, that was sick. Yes. That's awesome. I think Ramsey's maybe coming. Is that the golden? Oh yeah, look at it. Oh, look at that. Might be thinking about it. Yeah. That is so cool. 
Yeah, this is, uh, it's, we got so much rain. This is actually their land area right here. This oh, really? Just, that's yeah, how much rain? It's just a little depression here. So they, they like it because they come over and... Mostly these guys get Missouri pellets, except okay. they never... Uh, Do you notice they get more excited when chicken comes out, though? Yeah, that's what happens with my... Uh, that's, that's why recently I did a video where the male chased me all around my enclosure. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. That's a little bit of a tricky feeder. That's why it's always such a big deal when we actually get him to eat. Okay, when you actually see interest. He, he just started eating for us outside. He's been inside his entire life until like about three weeks ago. So he's clearly trying to open it up and not scare him, right? Yeah. He's a punchy crocodile. Oh yeah, hey, there hey, you go. There we go. Good job. Uh, let's see how he does. If he eats it right away, yeah. Let's take, yeah, take another one down there. That's awesome. So the yellows we've been keeping, you know, in, inside just while they were growing up. And so this has been the first time we put them out. But we're hoping they'll gain three or four feet this year. And then we'll see some reproduction next year. Awesome. Because there's, there's a lot of questions we have about the actual genes. They're just kind of seeing how it's going to go. It's so hard to get right on uh, camera because it just, it just doesn't do justice for him. At least one camera. Well, he's bright. That's yeah. all I, I mean, he is just standing out. He's holding it. Just move back over here. Hey, give one to that little dude right there. Give that piece of that thing. Yeah, give, give one to them. Tiny little guy over there. Yeah, these are ones just out. This is so cool. So what happens is they partition themselves a little bit. And right. Just give it to them. Perfect. Yep. Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there who have helped to create an amazing reptile community online with us. This week's shout out goes to longtime supporter, Paul Bridgers. Yeah, to smaller ones, clearly, you know, sometimes, wow. <laughs> They're talking to each other. They move so fast. He did? Yeah, he just finished it. That's all right, let it roll for today. Small steps. But if you look in here, you're going to see the variability in the, in the actual genes. There are a couple high yellows in here. Gotcha. And, uh, and you're going to see it in a bunch of the ones that will be nominative. And they're a little bit cooler today. When they lay in the sun, you can really see that yellow color start kind of coming through. And those are the ones that as they get older, you would correctly call like a high yellow. High yellow yeah. Nile croc. Is but there a locale in the wild that has that? East Africa. Like okay. They, with the ones that come from the East African region, specifically like around that Gramati River, you even see it on TV sometimes. They, uh, with the wildebeest crossing, yep. every once in a while, if you watch it close, you can see a big now crocker come out. It, it's going to have a lot of yellow. A lot of tan, on it. a lot yeah. of, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. We're going over here now. I think we're going to get it. Where, where's most, where most of them at? They kind of scattered. Uh oh. All different areas. Sitting down there. There's huh. a couple here, one there, two over there. One's right there. Up oh, here they go. Let's see if we can bring them down there. I'd rather yeah. bring them down there. Down there? Yeah, I'd rather. I don't, I don't know if you noticed it too, but while we're moving down, they have dens that are building. I was going to ask if they, there. because of that den high. Right there, you can see on this end, and there's a big den right there. That's pretty cool. So, will yeah. they use those dens they to get away from cold or heat? Cold, yeah, they, yeah, they use them a lot. You would think they use them a lot in the winter, and they do, but in the summer, they even use more, though, to get away from the heat. Gotcha. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty. That, that they're allowed to do all that behavior that they would do in the wild. And they're right here, you know? And, and you know, the other funny thing is when we... I think that's Atlas right there. Oh, is that Atlas? Yeah. He was going the wrong way because he saw us. I think he saw us. Yeah, I think that's him. Though. Oh, I got to meet Atlas, dude. With a name like Atlas, you know he's got to be cool. Yeah, he's turning. Someone's going to turn around, hopefully. This coming. is so cool. They're coming? They're coming. Perfect. One's already sitting down here. Oh, this is such he a cool right feeding there. area. I think it's right over there. There's one right there. Yeah, I can see him. Yeah, he's right over here. They're coming. I 
I do a combination. I do everything. Some bubbles, guys. You see these bubbles? Green, call them by name. <laughs> Come on. Let's say crocodile. Whistle at them. There's another one coming down there. Oh, look at this. Look at this right here. Boom! Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's that shy one. Dude. I, I can see there's oh. no shortage of <laughs> shit talking. Oh, 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 uh, it's a fun place oh, to work. There's Atlas. Oh, there's Atlas. Atlas. Come on, big boy. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Holy, look at that. That's another, is that a higher yellow one too? Yeah, that's in Madagascar. On oh, Madagascar. Right. That's a pretty animal. My gosh, we are so close to him right now, guys. He's a young male too. This is only about a six and a half year old animal. Oh, what? He's over eight foot. How, how, yeah, he's, he's, he's a pretty big dude. That is gorgeous, man. And that that's the difference with a croc. Look at how fast crocs are, guys. My gators hardly ever move that fast. These guys are absolutely athletes. Crocs can jump up, you know, they can twist in half. They're definitely a, a way more athletic creature. And you think about it, they have to be able to pull down some incredibly strong animals. And that one is beautiful. Yeah, that's a really cool. They need to get less shine. Right. Copy. No, I'm talking about oh, oh, I, don't know. I thought you were talking to me. I watched my arm on the left and the right, and bam. No way, jaw pop. That was a great jaw pop. You're leaving, but you're leading too far. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is how we, we're getting to see these guys get trained. You definitely, he definitely doesn't want to see me trying to feed the alligators at Alligator Adventure. I was doing a bad job about five years ago. It was amateur hour there. Is that Atlas? Woo! Uh, now they could, they could jump up. They could, they could absolutely jump up to It's them. our job to control their behavior. Okay. And so, like, the animal itself is always going to, like, stay down unless we, like, give me one of those things. Oh, boy, here we go. Let's see if I can get him to do it. Come here. Pose. Come here. Up top. Come here. Come here. No, he's lazy now. Come on. Look at that. Come up. Come here. Right. Come up here. Come on. Their eyes are beautiful. Look at that. Dude, this is awesome day here today. Yeah, well done. It's definitely not amateur. The guys were clapping for him. Definitely not amateur out here. Look at that. Well, in theory, yeah, in theory, you could get him to come up here. But, they, but once they eat a couple times, they're, they're no longer they, motivated. They lose more motivation. That is, yeah. that is awesome, man. This is such a cool feeding station. It's safe for you, but yeah. exciting still. And it, you know, what are you doing, you loony? Wyatt. I want that darker one to come up in here. Up. Yeah, well, there's one in here that's like super shallow. It'll come up and then as soon as it's yeah, it pulls its head yeah. right back it, down. It comes so up annoying. and it'll shake its head and go back under. He's coming. Oh, yeah, look he's at how they again. just pop up, man. Look at that. They just pop up out of nowhere. See, my son and I, we come out here and we train them a lot in the evenings when there's no one out here. And so, like, this is weird. That's a very pretty one. That one's quick, very too. Pretty one. Yeah, that was cool. Here, here I'm going to see if I can get more. Atlas to come up over here. All right. Come all the way out for us. Come here. Come he on. is so cool. You see that tail I love that. I love that. And the scoots, the pronounced scoots on him. Look at him, man. That is awesome. Oh, oh, oh no. I scared him. Amateur hour. <laughs> Amateur hour. It was my fault. Every now and then, he's scared. That, there he is. You're ready. Come on, man. Get your food. Come here, Atlas. Come here. He's Dude, gorgeous. He's really yeah, he's getting yeah, a lot of size. Yeah, so he's the dominant male in here? He's the only male. Oh, oh, well, there you go. Lucky, lucky dude. Come here. Up. It's starting to look like Godzilla. <sighs> good, good, that is really good. They are beautiful, man. Croc, it's just, you know. Oh, you get, you get, now I am getting a little jealous. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I love my gators and caiman, but man, there's nothing quite like a crocodile coming out of the water. There's just nothing like it. So we've got a new goal, friends. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and buy another two and a half acres in the future <laughs> so I can have five acres and I can get my license to do crocodilians. That would be amazing. Amazing. They're really cool, man.
midsummer. Yeah, when they're just really full on, yeah, right? Saying, you can't feed them enough. They oh. come sprinting out of that water. Oh my gosh. Mark, I'm surprised you got as much out of them right now as we did. It was cool this morning. Well, listen, guys, you've really laid out the red carpet. You've, you've opened up the doors for me, and I just want to say thanks. This has been a really fun group of videos for me to do to get out to Texas to meet some great people. Uh, first time meeting Chris and the guys here. Um, so thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully we'll have you over to, the, to Camp Cannon. Uh, you guys have open invite if you're ever in Florida. Awesome. You guys are rad. They watched the show. I was kind of humbled. Like, oh, thanks, you guys. Me, all I heard about was when you were coming. And I'm like, I, I've not yeah. hadn't watched the show prior. They have. They're massive yeah. fans. And, all they, and so I made a lot of jokes to them about you coming over. Oh, that's so funny. How they were going to oh, share I'm, their appreciation. I'm stoked, man. Very Thank excited. You. <laughs> well, this is awesome. I've, like I said, you know, I've, I've heard so much about you. We have so many similar friends and interests. And, uh, pleasure man thank Absolutely. you so much you've done an amazing job thank you for thanks for all your information all right guys we'll see you again real soon don't forget to like and subscribe and come to crocodile encounters in angle angleton angleton texas angleton because of anglers i have absolutely no idea right, maybe because there's good fishing around here i have no idea but if you can jump in the wrong pond in this part you're not going to be too happy we'll see you guys later later atlas you're awesome that's atlas right yep, yep. perfect see i get to know him all right everyone we'll see you later